Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar the Silver Star. Alright, so the whole party has been assembled. Well, except for one final guy. And that guy we haven't even encountered yet. We need to head to Nanza to do so. In order to do that, we just need to follow the path until we find one leading southwest. And that'll bring us to the town of Nanza. There it is. All the way down. And there it is. Now we just need to head inside here. And on the left is the guy we need to talk to in Kyle. That must be nice. You'll have to talk to him a few times. Of course, in this case, immediately he recognizes Jessica. Speak to him again. But we are serious. Speak to him a third time. Well, maybe not thousands, but given this kind of game, it's always how it works. And there's the call to bring in the fifth party member. There he is! Alright! And this is Kyle. A whole bunch of HP, but not a single point of MP. Actually, he does gain MP, but it's in the matter of sword skills rather than actual magic. So he doesn't gain too much, but it does have use for his special abilities. Of course, we'll have to wait a couple levels before he actually gets the MP to be able to use them. Anyway, with this setup, it's stupid. So, we're actually going to go to order for the very first time. And really, this is, the, this is how it should work. Kyle needs to be in the second slot. So, move over to Kyle, okay? Number three should be Nash. 4 should be Jessica, and 5 should be me. And that's how it works. That should be how it works, I should say. And, uh, yeah, that's that. With Kyle in the party now, remember the red chest out in the weird woods? We can now actually open them. We don't need a key, we just need somebody strong enough to literally break them. And that's what Kyle's for. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, actually, can I just do it here? Or not. Nope, I gotta go outside. That's fine. I don't like it's that much of a distance anyway. Okay. Take two. Try it again. Head to Berg. And with that, we leave and head for the Weird Woods, because this is literally the quickest way to get there. I mean, there's also Saith, but it's a longer trek. And let's be honest, these enemies are completely boring. I'll still fight them, though. Alright, all the way back up the river until we reach the Weird Woods. And here we go. 
No, 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 I did not. They're not weird. Matter of fact, they're kind of normal. Alright, so if you don't remember where the red chests are, all we need to do is simply follow the path all the way up to where we meet Like when we first came here. Go up this way, and there's the red chest. Open it, and Kyle breaks it open to get a Vigor Peach. As for the other chest, we need to go all the way to the very end. So cross the logs, go past the woodshed, past another log bridge, and finally I got an encounter. Whoops, no, 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 don't do AI. Ever. I never do it. I don't need magic either. Not for these enemies. Hell, Mia's not gonna even move before everybody's gone. He has six minutes to get an encounter in this episode. Wow. As for the other chest, a recovery cane, which is actually something Mia can use. So we'll go ahead and go to... No, not item. Equip. There it is. And let's get out of here. Now watch this, I'm going to be spammed by useless enemies. They were a threat when I first came here. Now I can just laugh it off. All I need are Alex, Kyle, and Nash. Maybe Jessica if they're close enough. Beyond that, it's just nothing but tapping A until I get out of the weird woods. That'll probably be the only time it lasts more than one turn. Same shit. Endless A tapping. But, it's for those glorious red chests. Who says you need a key for them? Fuck keys, I got... a Kyle. Whack them all, and down they all go. Alright, moving on. Up. Continue their whacking. Well, that was easy. And with that, now we're completely done with the Weird Woods. Well, it took us 10 episodes or some, something like that. Um, anyway. Item. Dragon's Wings. Let's head to Elthina's Shrine to heal up, but we actually need to go to Moravia next. Because there's a red chest in Master Mel's Manor. Go ahead and rest up, and I'll just walk there since, really, it's not that big a trek anyway. Just walk west. That's all you gotta do. West. More west. And then down, and there we go. Not a single encounter. Alright, off to Master Mel's bullshit manor. Watch me get lost here again. Alright, so we need to head for the second floor, which requires going through this albatross of a mansion to get there. Down. Around this room, which is like a courtroom of some sort or something. Whoops. And I'm through. Now we're in the second floor. Head on this way. We need to go all the way to the southwest room. 
Did I cover the Northwest? Oh no, the Northwest room has one too. Okay. So that's a jewel, which is only for silver purposes. That's fine by me. And then there's this one, which is a diamond ring. Same deal. It doesn't really provide anything like the Cascade or Dragon Ring does. Anyway, down the stairs. And that brings us here, where there's another red chest for an Earth Cane, which uh, I think that is a... Uh, nope, can't use it. Who can use it? Let me... Hmm. I guess it's a Nash thing. Weird. Well, he still needs the bow, because I'd rather do... Well, there's a jewel. I'd rather do attacks from afar. Anyway, head down. Another red chest with another diamond ring. Cross the bridges. There's another one. Another stairway. And that finally brings us to this originally locked area. Well, these things... Actually, can I even damage them now? Like, at all? I'll find out. But if all else fails, I've got Mia and I'll just flame bomb them. Oh, they actually take damage. Crazy. But yeah, this is the original area that we couldn't access. Where if we head down here, there's five chests. A starlight. A fire cane. A diamond ring. Magic hand. And finally, a jasmine. If you talk to this guy, this is Brett. You can play a game of Blackjack, but I wouldn't do it because his version of Blackjack is about as rigged as a Venezuelan presidential election. So, don't even bother. Alright. I don't think there's any encounters on the way back up. So, nothing to worry about, and with that, we're actually done. Though, there is an optional scene if you want to go to Vane. Galleon's room is open, you can read his diary. I'm not going to bother with that since I've already spent enough time hunting these chests down. Yeah, it's 1240. Personally, I just want to go through the Nanza barrier. So, uh, I, I'm not even sure I can use the cane here, which means i got to go the long way through this damn place. Just make my way all the way through, but that is all the red chests that were not picked off because we couldn't do it in the first place. With Kyle and the party, no chest matters. They all get opened one way or another. And with that, we're out. And I'll just walk back out. I've barely taken any damage and no magic was used, so I can just warp to Nanza and be done with it. C, item, dragon wings, Nanza. Alright. It gets out of the way. There's a chest right here containing a chainmail. Actually, can that even get used at all? Yeah, because that's leather clothes and leather sucks. So change that, and we're good. I'm pretty loaded on inventory, though. Actually, now that I think about it, can't, uh... Yeah, you got that standard cool robe. Maybe, yeah, magic robe's better anyway. All right. Let's head on in. Okay, so first things first. I think we've got to go this way. Yep. And there's an herb. Now we just need to head upward. And I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward, apart from a few forks here and there that lead to chests. But other than that, that's really all there is with the Nanza Barrier. It's a pretty linear dungeon. 
So make your way through. There's the second chest, which is another herb. That's fine. I can use that. And finally, we got some monsters, and holy shit, there's a bunch of them. I like it. Kind of. Thunder Bomb. And Flight Bomb. Oh, they resist magic. Of course they do. Well, I guess I'm taking some hits. Let's see. Obviously, they attack. Still do flame bomb because Mia's not going to be able to move, like, at all. Alright, down they go. Alex leveled up. So did Mia. Awesome. How bad was anybody hit? Oh, wow. Kyle got hit kind of hard. Actually, I have an excuse to use those herbs. Oops, I gave it to Mia. Oh, well. Fix that. 287. Uh, I may as well use the Jasmine as well. Cap him out. I mean, I was loaded on inventory space, so... I actually forgot to sell stuff. Eh, I'll get it the next go-around. Continue on through the barrier. Just up and down a fair. Well, this again. Um... Nah. Thunder bomb. Fire... Fire bomb. Well... Flame, fire, same thing, kinda. Oh god! Sleep everywhere! Only me is gonna be able to do anything. Come on, guys, get up! Fortunately, Kyle did. And just like that, he's back down. Well, that was a lot more obnoxious than I was expecting. Sheesh. Okay, so... We'll continue rolling on up. And there's another chest, which is a putrid lunch. This is literal garbage. I can just go ahead and nuke it outright. Oh, wait. Uh, I have to use Gnaw to drop it. Right. Get rid of it. Literal dog shit. With that, I think I need to go this way. These things resist magic, but there's only... Uh, I can let Nash attack. It'd probably work. Yeah, the monsters here are pretty obnoxious. Oh, wow, I just realized I'm pushing 19 minutes. Okay, so if I can clear this room, which I shouldn't be too far away from that, I'll probably cut there and continue the Nuns of Barrier the next episode. I definitely don't want to be taking too long on a video. I think I got quite a bit to go with this place. Pretty sure it's the biggest dungeon we've faced so far, even more than the Cave of Trial. With enemies that resist magic, that is definitely obnoxious since you can't just AoE and do some actual decent damage. Still fight on. Honestly, I was just tapping A. I probably should have done that a little better. Nothing that matters, it all goes down regardless. Kyle levels up. Nash levels up. Jessica does. And 
There it is! Carl Gaines 2 MP. <laughs> what a privilege. Speaking of Carl, though, I should heal him. Call Merb. May as well. That'll work. And that wraps it up. Alright, moving on. Oh, that's a wall. And there's the way into 2F. And yeah, I'm approaching 21 minutes. Okay, I can't save, but I can cut the episode off here, and we'll just finish up the Nonza Barrier with the next episode. So I'll cut it here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.